This is an introduction to the Account Activity with Detail Report. This Excel-based Office Connector Starter Report is provided for your ongoing use as part of your annual maintenance and support for Sage Timberline Office. This report is similar to your current or year-to-date ledger report in General Ledger. Each account is shown with its beginning balance, detailed activity, and ending balance for the desired period. To run this report, start Sage Desktop, go to Excel-based reporting Office Connector, and double-click on Account Ledger with Detail. Note that you can also run this report from the Starter tab of Office Connector Launchpad. Please take the time to read the information sheet. This will provide important details about the report's capabilities and how to use the report. For example, it's important to note that this report utilizes the current and history GLT files. If your company uses GL transaction files that have other names, the starter version of this report would not be able to query those files. The licensed version, however, could be customized to do this. Before running the report, you must provide the parameters that the report requires. To do this, click the Admin Worksheet. The first parameter is the Account Mask. This can be used to limit the accounts shown in the report and can include a combination of literal characters and wildcard characters. For example, if I wanted to see all accounts having a two-character prefix starting with a 1 and a base account starting with a 5, I would enter the literal character 1 followed by an underscore which is a wildcard for a single character. That would be followed by the usual separator character between the prefix and the base, then the literal character 5 followed by a percent symbol which is the wildcard representing any number of characters. The online help topic provides more information and examples of how to use this parameter. Next, supply a date range by entering dates for the from date and to date. Normally, you'll make these dates fall on the beginning and ending of a fiscal month. However, you can enter any dates you wish here even if they fall in the middle of a period. The accounting method can be set to accrual or cash. Your general ledger system must be set up to support whichever accounting method you select. When you close a fiscal year, General Ledger creates a set of closing entries that zero out your income statement accounts and places the net amount into retained earnings. If you want these closing entries to appear on your report, make sure to leave this box checked. Excluding these entries might be preferable if you want to run this report for the last period in your fiscal year and without seeing the effects of having closed the year. We'll review the final option after we run the report. To run the report, click the Refresh Report button on the Admin Worksheet. At this point, Office Connector prompts you to select your Timberline Office Company folder and enter your login credentials. The time needed to run the report will vary based on the volume of data you have in your data files. When finished, click the Ledger Worksheet to see the report. Notice that the report parameters are displayed at the top of the report. These are shown only for your reference. If you wish to rerun the report with a different set of parameters, just click back on the Admin Worksheet, enter your new parameters, and click Refresh Report again. Notice that each account is shown followed by any detailed activity for the period you selected. If you only want to see the detailed activity and not the summary lines, just uncheck the Include Account Summary Lines box on the Admin Worksheet when you run or refresh the report. Now that your account ledger is in Excel, you can use the Auto Filter feature to quickly filter the data and find specific information of interest. You can also press Ctrl F to use the Find feature and search for specific values or fragments of text. When you save your report, your parameters and data are saved within the Excel file. If you are using Excel 2007 or higher, make sure that you choose Excel Macro Enabled Workbook. This will ensure that the macros required by the workbook are preserved. Later, you can reopen the Excel workbook and continue to work with the same data or refresh the report to get current information. If you wish to share a copy of your report with someone who does not have Office Connector, such as your tax accountant or CPA, just click the Office Connector toolbar and click Save as Values. This saves the report as an ordinary Excel workbook that's no longer linked to your Sage Timberline Office database. It can then be provided to any user of Excel. Once again, this Excel-based report is brought to you by Sage and is powered by Event1 Office Connector. 
A full license of Office Connector can be purchased, enabling you to use other pre-built reports, have your consultant create reports for you, design your own reports, or even send the data from Excel back into Sage Timberline Office. Be sure to visit the Event One software website to sign up for a free live webinar about Office Connector, or contact us if you have any questions about upgrade options, pricing, or licensing.